Hello. Feedback from the users of Numeracy Ready have suggested that this question is one of the more complex ones that you may face in your Numeracy Skills Test. So here's how to tackle it. You are presented with a table of percentages for three classes and given the range, median and mode for each. The mode is probably the most useful as a starting point because for a number to be a mode, it implies that that actual number was scored by students in the class. Let's start with statement A, some pupils in class A achieved less than 12%. The easiest way to think about this is the fact that on a scale of 0 to 100%, the mode says that this mark was gained by some of the students. We can use the fact that the range is 60 alongside our mode to check whether this statement is true or false. If the range is 60 and includes 72, if 72 is the highest mark, then 12 is the lowest possible mark that could have been achieved any lower and we wouldn't have that 72 included in our range. So if we apply that to statement A, we can see that it's false because it's impossible for any student to have scored less than 12%. Let's consider statement B. At least one pupil in class C achieved less than 20%. If we consider our scale and again take our range, you'll see for class C they had a range of 85. Now even if someone scored 100 that would mean that the lowest mark would be 15. Our range, if someone scored less than 100, would only give lower marks than 15. So applying that to our statement, it is true that at least one pupil in class C must have achieved less than 20%, which is in this area here. B is true. Finally, let's look at statement C. All pupils in class B achieved at least 40%. Again, let's consider our mode of 68. And apply our range, which is quite small for class B, it's only 28. then we can see that again, similarly to statement A, the lowest anyone could have scored is 40. Any lower and our range wouldn't include that 68. All pupils in class B achieved at least 40%. Hopefully you can see that's true. And hopefully that's going to help you with that tricky question should you see it in your numeracy skills test.